Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with PC Bros. And today we're gonna to be showing you a simple tutorial on how to set up one, two, or even three monitors for your office or gaming setup. Let's get right into it. So setting up multiple monitors is actually really simple. You can do it on a laptop, computer, and even some tablets. And the only things that you actually have to have are of course, more than one monitor. If you wanna have multiple, you have to have the right display adapters because not all monitors are created equal. Some have VGA, some have DVI, some have HDMI, some have DisplayPort, and some have all four or only a couple. And there's even some newer monitors that are portable that have USB type C because USB type C can also carry video. And then the last thing that you need is to make sure the device actually has more than one video out of it. And many times laptops only have one display out, so that's a great example. A lot of times the laptop will only have one HDMI, so if you want to have more than one extra screen outside of your main laptop screen, you're going to need an active splitter, which are usually around $50 to $100 because they're not just simply splitting the signal, they're actually separately outputting the signal so that it treats it like more than one monitor. If you just buy a cheap splitter, it's going to just duplicate the image and we're not going to be showing you guys how to duplicate today. We're going to be showing you how to actually have multiple working monitors for more than one workspace. All right, so we're going to get a little bit up close for a second here because I want to show you guys the actual connectors we're gonna be using. These are older style monitors. Now, obviously most of you at home, you're probably gonna have new HDMI or new DisplayPort style monitors. These ones are both VGA or DVI only. So this is the DVI connector, and this is basically what it looks like. It can come in a couple of different variants, but this is the most common one you're gonna see. It's very similar to like the older style, like VGA, where you have a bunch of pins that are exposed. And then obviously you have these newer style connectors. We have DisplayPort here, which kind of looks like HDMI, except they definitely will not fit in the same uh, hole. They usually often have a lock on them. And then we have HDMI, which is a connector that pretty much all of us are familiar with because like every TV nowadays uses it. We have both monitors face down right now. Now every monitor or TV is going to have your input outputs in a different spot. In our case, both of these monitors, as you can see, just take a standard computer power cord. And then we have a single VGA on this monitor. The other one, once again, standard power cord. This one has DVI or VGA, you can use either one you can't use both at once so we're going to be using dvi for this one just because that's the connector i happen to have you could use uh you know two vga to like hdmi or display port but i do want to show you guys real quick the computer that we're using we only have three options so we have dvi we have hdmi we have display port now keep in mind the monitors are just a spot to display the image from the computers. You can't use these ones up here. If you have a computer that has a graphics card in it, which is, is fairly obvious, if you don't know what a graphics card is, it's basically like an expansion card. You notice how it's kind of out of place. You know, it's not with the IO, it's kind of its own spot. This means you have a graphics card. 99% of the time, that means you cannot use any of the old HDMI or DisplayPort VGA, whatever. These ports will not work up here because there's a graphics card overriding the integrated graphic ports is going to kind of click into place and it actually gets locked in, which is pretty nice. Now next up, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in VGA. And like I said, you know, I, I wish I had gotten out some newer monitors to make the video a little more simple, but I'd almost rather it kind of uh, be a little more universal for people who don't have newer monitors. So HDMI to HDMI. Um, and now some graphics cards will only have one display out, some will have two, some will have three, I've seen up to five, some will even have five display outs, a lot of times most of them are display port. With adapters, we can make anything possible. So, we have both monitors plugged into power because they have to have power. We have both of them plugged in to the respective video ports that they need. So in theory, we should be ready to go ahead and turn on our PC and get the actual monitor set up, which is also very simple. Most of the time, they actually kind of set up themselves. And we should get display out on one of these monitors. Don't be surprised if both don't work right away. That's perfectly normal. Oh, there we go. I was just getting ready to press the power button. We now have a display on one of these monitors. All right, so I just want to show you guys what I found real quick. Like I said, most of the time, your monitors will just automatically work, but especially with older monitors, they don't always know how to find the signal themselves very easily. So I went ahead and I'll show you guys how to get to this screen right here. It's very simple, and this is a really awesome thing to know. So you go to display settings after right clicking on the desktop. And if you press identify, it'll actually tell you which monitor is which. So number one is this one here. It's actually showing up just fine, but notice how number two, it does detect it. So it knows there's a monitor there, but for some reason, we don't have displays. So the first thing I thought was, okay, it's probably not on the right input. You remember how this monitor has DVI and VGA. So it's probably set to VGA right now. We want it on DVI. So I just pressed the 
input select button and now we have display. So it, the monitors right now are actually backwards. Right now you'll notice if I do this, it goes over to this screen. So we need to reorient them. So you literally just take your mouse and you're going to drag the monitor like that, press apply. And now they're actually in the right orientation to where you can use the monitor like you want. And you can actually adjust like the height of them and stuff like that, pretty seamless. Um, if they're further apart or closer together, you can actually change spacing sometimes. Um, you can actually change like the actual scale. So like, you know, how big everything on the monitor looks. Um, you can change the resolution. I really recommend staying at whatever the recommended real resolution is or else you might change it and it'll just be a black screen and um, usually it'll auto revert, but sometimes it won't. But yeah, this is where you can go. You can also change which one's your main display. So number two, uh, yeah, number one is our main display. So here, let's see, number one. Yeah, so right there, you can, you can check, mark, check mark this box, make this my main display. It's already our main. So like if we wanted to make number two our main, you just check box that and now all of our apps are over there. So yeah, it's pretty simple. And um, just to kind of reiterate one more time, as far as adding multiple monitors go, it's really just up to how many your device can output at once. So we do have one more possible. We could do three monitors by using this last DVI port. So I'd probably just get one more of these cheap monitors that already has DVI input. So I would just run one more DVI cable over to a third monitor that has you know DVI right here ready to go. So. Yeah, it's really simple, super easy to do. I do highly recommend having more than one monitor if you're doing any type of, um, even stuff as simple as emails. I mean, it's super nice being able to uh, do multiple things at once and not have to close out of tabs every time you wanna uh, do anything else. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, have a great day, guys. Peace out.